What's going on, guys? Orm Swarm coming at you guys today again with another video. And um, Brad Holmes, busy at it today again, making another signing. We went out and signed free agent linebacker Alex Anzalone. Um, One-year deal, $1.75 million deal, another cheap deal. Uh, former third-round pick out of Florida uh, by the New Orleans Saints. Six foot three, 240 pounds. Um, never had any eye-popping numbers in college. Uh, we'll, we'll get to that in a little bit. 75 tackles, five tackles for loss, three sacks, two pass to flex, one fumble recovery in four years. Uh, most of those numbers coming in 2016 as a Gator. Um, all three sacks actually in 2016 as a Gator. Um, only involved in 18 games in Florida. Riddled with injuries, lots of injuries, guys. Shoulder, shoulder problems throughout his whole career, college and pros. Um, the, but the Saints still saw something in this kid. Picked him up in the third round. Picked him in the third round, which when you're when you're drafting guys in the third round, you're actually looking for those guys to produce, man. Um, you're looking for a starter. You're still looking for a starter in the third round for sure. You're not just looking for depth. You're always looking for depth, but you're still drafting a guy in the third round. You're looking for for a starter there. That that starter material, man. You you you, drive, you get drafted in the third, man. You know you better man up, man. Let's go. You know what I mean? So they they took him nonetheless in the third round. 123 tackles, four sacks, eight tackles for loss, eight quarterback hits, three forced fumbles, three pass deflects, and one interception in four years. Now those four years he's been hurt a lot, put on IR like twice. Um, only started 20 games in four years. Um, he's played middle linebacker. He's played outside linebacker. Um, he's always, so he's extremely versatile. Um, but he's also hurt a lot. You know what I mean? I've talked about it. No, <laughs> this is it, man. He's missed a ton of time. His rookie year, 2017, and then in the 2019, he missed a lot of time with the shoulder injury. Put on IR twice, like I said, in four years. Um, this is what we're getting when we're getting... Uh, Alex Anzalone. This is this is the type of player we're getting. We're getting a kid that plays the run well because he's got great size at 6'3", 240. Love his size. He's a good blitzer, though. Solid blitzer. Fast. Um, good athlete with really good instincts. And he's versatile. I love that he's versatile. And he's not afraid to take on blocks. Um, now, his weaknesses, durability is a major concern. Okay, Durability is a major, major, major concern. Um, not the greatest in coverage, but he's improved over the, over the years. Um, what I really like about this kid is that he um, he ran a four six three at his forty a few years ago. That's almost eighteen miles per hour. That's straight line speed. I know you got to be able to do other than just the forty, but at two forty, running a four six three, that's impressive. That's very impressive. The kid has speed. The kid has instincts. He he is a good football player. Um, the thing that does concern me at his combine, though, 16 reps, up, 16 reps on the bench, 225. Now, that could be because of his shoulder. That could be um, a few things, actually. He, he's weak. He's a little bit weak. But it's probably a shoulder thing. It's probably a shoulder thing. He probably, he probably shouldn't have even did the exercise, but he did it anyways. And he, he still repped out 16. It's, it, it's by no means... It's by no means weak in normal situations, like a normal human standards. But NFL-wise, 16 reps on 225 for a linebacker is pretty weak. That's that that's really weak, man. Um, need to be stronger, but it could be because his shoulder was still not 100%. But that's it, guys. We're getting a... Brad Holmes is going out. He's getting guys that he knows... Him and Dan Campbell, Aaron Glenn, getting a, getting a former Saint. This is this is what they're doing. They're they're getting guys that are familiar, and uh, they're getting cheap one year deals, one two year deals. They're not breaking the bank for anybody because this is still a rebuild, retool, whatever you guys want to call this. This this is the kind of signings we're going to get. Now we got a good player. He's a quick fix. Does he stay healthy? Who knows? But it's a guy that they, they have to fill out a roster, okay? So this is a guy that has produced in the past. He, he's got that. You can see he's got a little bit of playmaking ability. Gets to the quarterback. You can see the sacks. Um, you can get the force fumbles, three. You know what I mean? A couple pass deflects, a pick. So he's got a little bit of playmaking ability in him. 
He just needs to stay healthy. So these are the type of picks that these are the type of pickups that these, that the Lions are going to do. Um, quick, easy fixes for now, and see where we are down the road. This is exactly what they need to do. I, I like this pickup. Doesn't hurt in any in any way because he's super cheap, and he's hopefully produces for us. Hopefully he can produce. We just we need him to produce, right? Um, he's young. He's like 26 or something like that. 27. I forget how old. He, he might even be younger than that. I'm not sure. I actually didn't write. That. I thought I wrote that down, but I'm assuming he's about 25, 26 years old. Uh, so he's still fairly young. This is what we're doing again, going after young guys as well, and and giving them opportunities to showcase their talent. On a one, one two-year deal, when you give guys one-year, two-year deals, they're out there showcasing their talent. Even if they don't want to be there, just say this kid didn't want to be there. You give him a one-year deal, now he's showcasing his team, his talent to 31 other teams. You know what I mean? So I'll take that any day of the week. And you just build on the draft. So that's it, guys. Thanks for the video. And um, don't forget to uh, subscribe at the bottom right. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and get all my videos. And then um, uh, like and comment. It's all about the likes. It helps my channel out tremendously. And um, I like the comments. Negative, positive, doesn't matter. I'll get back at you. Go Lions. We ain't done.